comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Hey everybody, it's Father Edward Looney here and typically Mrs. Gee and I would have our five things with Father, but she's not with me. I am heading out on vacation, so we weren't able to record in Shano, but I thought I would give you five things with Father from the airport, especially about my vacation, five different facts and things I'm looking forward to. So let's get started. So number one, I'm heading to London and to England, going to spend a week there. So the first thing I wanna share is just about the faith over in England. So uh, for a very long time, it was just Catholics uh, and Christians, Christians who were Catholics. But then what happened was King Henry VIII split from the church. And so he formed the Church of England. So as I'm going to England, I will be visiting some Catholic sites and I'll be visiting some of those Church of England sites as well. So that's one thing to know about England. The second is, is when there was the persecution of the Catholics in England, there were a lot of martyrs. And I'm hoping to visit this convent of sisters that is really a place where the martyrs are remembered. It's called the Tyburn Convent. And uh, I have an email out to the nuns hoping that they'll get back and we can schedule a time that my priest friend and I will be able to go to that place of the martyrs. So the third thing I'm looking forward to in England is my name, Edward. There was a St. Edward and St. Edward is in one of the cathedrals in London, whether it's the Catholic or, or the Church of England Cathedral, I'm not sure. Westminster, that's all I know. So I'm really looking forward to being at the tomb of St. Edward. I actually have a relic of St. Edward, but uh, to be there at the physical place in the country where he was king, I think is going to be super special for me. And then fourthly, uh, one thing I learned in planning this trip was that the brown scapular, which is a devotion to Mary, actually has its origins in England, that St. Simon Stock received it uh, in England. So I'm hoping to visit that monastery and that shrine. And lastly, number five, I am going to be visiting a Marian apparition site over in England called Walsingham. And what I'm really looking forward to about Walsingham is that I don't know anything about it. I've not read the history of it. So really, you know, I think about the champion Marian apparition and how people end up going there. Um, and maybe they don't know the story. I feel like kind of the ordinary pilgrim going to one of these places. I've been to other Marian shrines like Fatima or Lourdes or Guadalupe, but I knew the story. I don't know anything about Walsingham. So I'm really looking forward to uh, experiencing it really as an outsider and to see how wonderful the shrine hopefully tells that story and promotes devotion while I'm there. So that's five things uh, for this week's installment. And uh, I can't wait to be back uh, with you guys next week and uh, to have our uh, conversation again with Mrs. Gee. So thanks so much. Uh, I'll be thinking of you and please uh, pray for my safe travels. Thanks so much. Here comes the sun.